everybody. Uh, my name's Derek Bittner, if you don't know who I am. Uh, I am uh, over at Northridge. I am the computer science teacher. Uh, I am making a quick video uh, so that some of my fellow teacher friends out there, uh, primarily at my school, um, but also at other schools uh, throughout the school district, can uh, take something and hopefully help you guys with your uh, how to record stuff off of your uh, computer for your students so that we can do online learning. Because really, I know um, some classes leads really well to doing online and some classes do not. Um, but this is a way you can take your screen, uh, you can record your voice, you can uh, give your lecture, your kids can see your mouse pointer, your kids can see your click through, uh, you can do basically a lecture online. Okay, um, the program that I use uh, is called iSpring Cam Free. Now it's important that you use version 8. Uh, if you go to download it online right now, version 9 is the one that's active or version 10, I'm trying to remember. Uh, but they don't set up quite as easily uh, and it's kind of hidden behind a paywall. So you got to be a little bit careful with it. Um, but uh, what I will do is I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, so that you guys know, if you check the uh, link, I'll put a link in the in the about um, to download it. I have the file stuck on my OneDrive for the school district. You guys can go ahead and download the installer from there if you want it. That's to version eight. Um, feel free to grab it. You guys are good. Um, after you have it installed, you can just simply do this. So click on your little magnifying glass here. Type in iSpring right there. iSpring free cam eight I'm gonna fire it up uh, it's gonna pop up like this this is the little interface window uh, not a big deal I'm gonna go ahead and click start uh, create new recording click here it's gonna give me this awesome window if you look there's these little black and white dotted lines around the outside um, what you do is you take that and you line that up over the part of the screen that you want to record for me I might stick it like this up in the corner and I might take this corner and I might drag it way out so it does my whole screen, right? Um, for this particular video, all I want to really record is just my little, uh, we're just going to record the pop-up, my web browser right here. Um, and so we're going to come here. Uh, if you want it, if it has to be perfect, you can do it. I kind of like to just leave the spacing because this is the aspect ratio for YouTube. So I'm going to move this over here. We're going to kind of center it right there uh, so my kids can see it. Okay, so now I have this section set up. If you look down here, there's your little microphone deal. Um, as you speak, you'll see the uh, little meter, the sound meter going in there uh, so that you know that your microphone's working. If, um, if you click this, it'll mute. So it, it, it starts out as muted for a lot of installs, so make sure that you unclick that. Um, if you click the record button right here, when you're ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to click the record button. It's going to say 3, 2, 1 to give me some time. Now as I speak, it is recording a video in here so that I can talk about the coronavirus. Um, this is a data graphic, this is the map from Johns Hopkins. Um, if you have not used this, it's actually kind of interesting. My AP computer science kids have been going crazy over this uh, because we do data visualizations. Um, anyways, so if I go around, I might click on, hey, so these are the infection graphs right here. Uh, orange is the Chinese infections. Green is the number of people recovered. And yellow is international infections. If you look, something kind of crappy happened a couple days ago is we crossed China. So we now have more infections in than China does. Um, here is our scary graph. If I don't like the actual, I can change it to logarithmic. Um, and now uh, the logarithmic functions, uh, daily cases, there's little graphs here. But as you can see, I can click around. Let's zoom in where we're at right here in Utah. There is currently 39 confirmed cases, zero deaths, nobody's recovered yet, and 39 active cases, which means where we're at, we're kind of just getting started. Okay. All right. So if at any point I would like to pause my recording, all I have to do is hit F9. It'll pause it. This um, 
outside the border you see it's red and white. That means it is currently recording. When it's white and black, it means it's not recording. So if I hit F9, it will change to black. As you can see, I can hit F9 again. It'll go back to red, and now it is recording again. Um, you can pause if you want right here. That's fine. Um, if you click done, it'll finish the recording, or you can just hit the escape key on your keyboard. Um, it's it's slick. So I'm going to go ahead and click done now. Okay, what's going to happen? It's going to do a preparing preview. Uh, doo -doo. It's going to kick me. This is my video now, as you can see. Uh, I have, this is my recording. I can go through, I can play my video, give me some time. Now, as I speak, it okay. is recording, a, right? So that's my video. Um, I can go through and edit it. I can cut stuff out. I can change. Um, this is what I do, but certainly you do not have to do this. Um, but if you click uh, upload to YouTube, so I have a YouTube channel. My iSpring cam is tied directly to my YouTube. So all I have to do is click upload to YouTube and it will just put the video on my YouTube channel for me. Like I don't have to do anything. It just, it just sticks it on there. And then I go and I take a link to that and I put that link into Canvas. If you are not comfortable with a YouTube channel or if that's uh, something that you, for whatever reason, decide that you would rather just have the videos, instead of doing upload to YouTube, I can click save as video here. And then I can just save it as a WMV video. And then you can take that video and you can stick it in Canvas. Uh, let me just hit my YouTube uploader so you guys can see what happens with that. So uh, my YouTube uploader, I can come here, give it a title, uh, test, video, uh, and then I can give it a description, whatever, uh, category. I use education because it gets through the filter faster. Uh, and then permissions. Public is anyone can see and view. Private is uh, you have to assign, so don't do that. Unlisted is uh, probably what many of you will end up going with because uh, anybody with a link can open it but not publicly view it. Um, a couple of things that I've learned. One is in your YouTube settings, if you're going to upload to YouTube, make sure that you go in and uh, set your comments to moderated, which means that you're not going to have kids go in and just start spamming stuff in your comment section. Uh, it'll send you an email and let you know, um, hey, somebody posted a comment. You can go in, and if it's a valid something, a good question from a student or whatever, it'll give you the opportunity to either approve or deny that. Uh, I approve them when, you know, kid comes in, like, for example, I do a programming question. We're going to do a thing about uh, arrays. Kid comes in, has a good question about arrays. I'll publish his comment and then give him an answer in YouTube that way. Uh, as other kids are watching the video, they see uh, the results of that, okay? Um, I'm not going to upload it because it has to process it, and you, I don't want to sit here for three minutes while it's processing. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm just going to cancel that, okay? But um, that's it, really, you guys. Uh, there's an edit option. I guess one more thing really quick. There's an edit option if you hit here. You can come in and you can trim out parts that maybe you weren't talking or you messed up. You can remove noise, adjust volume, fade in and out. You can do lots of stuff, right? So there's a section I don't want. I want to like cut it out. Um, but you can, it'll allow you to kind of tweak your videos as you go. Okay. Uh, hopefully this helps you out. Um, if you are at Northridge, pop down into my room if you need some help. I have this installed on all of my computers. For my AP Computer Science kids, you are welcome to come down here and do it. Just sit on a row that's not by my computer because I don't want your nasty uh, cooties or whatever they're calling it. Uh, if you are at another school and you're viewing this video, um, talk to your STS or, um, you know, I don't care, email me. Uh, and you guys are good. Good luck. This is... Uh, this is this is a big deal, but at the same time, this is an adventure, right? So you, you, you're okay. It's going to be fine. Like I told my kids in my video the other day that this is the story that you're going to tell your grandkids or in 20 years, whatever, you're going to be telling the story about the time the school year got shut down. The schools got shut down by the pandemic. So drink it in, man. It's 
it's this is this is life this is a life adventure we're good okay uh carry on good luck and uh hopefully you can use this i will uh talk to you later